Sweet Jesus Radio. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Sweet Jesus Radio. Coming to you from UFO Studio. I have no, <laughs> no co-host with me today. Going solo. But I do have an awesome guest in the house tonight. My new homie here. He is an extremely talented artist, street artist, fashion designer. You might have seen his work on Facebook, other other social media. I think you'll agree again, uh, extremely talented. Just killed Chalk the Block. Oh shit, just killed Chalk the Block. Again, <laughs> make some noise. Just kidding. Like if it, I'm introducing <laughs> you to an audience. Nah, nah, nah. Right. I want to welcome to the show my boy Foolish. What up, what up? What up, Jesus? What's up, man? How's your day so far? It's been going pretty good. Uh, oh, yeah. Just woke up. You're a little closer to the mic, dog. My bad. Oh, my bad. Just uh, woke up, got my little cheese and bacon biscuit from oh, McDonald's, did my little thing, got some coffee. Uh, every morning I go to the methadone clinic, get my little sip on. And nice. Then just get home, start my day, start painting, and just you know, get orders done. Nice, nice, shit nice. Like that. All and right, all right, all right. Start the day after. So you that. painted a lot today? Did you get a lot of shit done? Uh, yeah, just get a lot of stickers done. Uh, I got like a six sheet that's like adhesive, and just started painting on that. You know, making like a bunch of little DIY stickers. Hell yeah. This yeah, it was a pretty productive day. Sweet, sweet. Oh, yeah, man, shit. Well, since this is being recorded November 9th, yeah. well, before we go into the actual interview, man, November 9th, people, the day after the election, the day after we have a, a new president-elect. Adolf Hitler, 2016. Trump. Let's give it up. <laughs> Donald <laughs> Trump. What do you think about that, man? Want to share any thoughts about that? What do you think about it? Do you think it was a surprise or um, did, was it, did you expect him to win? As soon as did I, you vote? As soon as I heard about it, like I I I was in disbelief, but I kind of knew from from the jump that he was going to win cuz he's a, he's pretty powerful, like he has a lot of money and he has a lot of people he put on, a lot of powerful powerful people and they have a lot of people behind them that, you know, so on and so I don't forth. Know, just, huh? you know, just a big old pyramid that I don't know. I just knew it. Hell yeah, right man! Sure. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's it's scary, man. No matter what, <laughs> yeah, because you never know what you're gonna get, no matter who wins. Yeah, because a lot of times, obviously, politicians aren't really known for keeping their promises. Yeah, so you have that aspect of it. Yeah. Then you got the aspect of, uh, especially with Trump. You know, he's he's a he's a wild dude, man. He's, he's yeah. a crazy guy. He's crazy. He's definitely crazy. But you know, me personally, I like his style though. He like he's really honest. He's He's hilarious. Like he's he's, he's entertaining. So dumb, That's for yeah. damn sure. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's a fucking retard. He's, he's an a asshole. dumbass, but he should not be our president. That's for damn sure. A lot of people, including myself, uh, as far as you know, Republican, Democrat, you know, we a lot of people were in agreement that both choices kind of sucked. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of the bottom of the barrel, right? It was there, like but... the it was like the first day of school, and then you go like to your classes, and you want to see all the all your friends in the, in the same class, but it's a disappointment that. You don't have any of those friends in classes, so it's just like you see ah. both of these two people, and it's just a disappointment. It's like, like two bullies. Yeah, that yeah. Fuck, they used to know. fuck you up every day yeah, last year. Yeah. It's before. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, it's these motherfuckers. It's just so sad. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty rough, man. Hillary, Me personally, go ahead. I mean, Hillary. I don't know. It would have been pretty. It would have been pretty awesome to see like a girl president because I mean. Just to like, just to say, you saw a female in your time, uh, like, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we that's saw a pretty black good statistic. So. Got a black dude, and then the female was next. I guess it was too much, too yeah. much to have. It wasn't the time, man. Obviously, um, uh, me personally, like I said yeah. on Facebook, I'm not convinced, man. It's just, uh, <laughs> if it's true and if it's permanent, so be it. Mm -hmm. That that shit doesn't really affect my day to day life, man. Uh, in a way, in a lot of ways, it does, but. Uh, it's just it's just like a lot of these stories, like with the cops, you know, police mm -hmm. brutality, or any kind of, any kind of con uh, controversial story that comes out. I like to sit and wait for like a week or maybe more to see what kind of other facts come out, or just to see any other you know updates and developments. Yeah. Um, you know, we've had other controversial elections and recounts and fraud and all kinds of shit. 
Excuse me. Um, but it's looking like it's like it's real, man. Yeah, it's you know, pretty scary. Me personally, and yeah, me personally, I don't. I'm not. I don't think it's scary. I honestly don't think he's going to do any of the fucking crazy shit he said he was going to do, like I said, on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Also, I don't know, man. I'm kind of burned out on politics. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? If you, if you ask me, yeah, 2012 and prior to that, I mm-hmm. was that dude that kept up with a lot of politics, yeah. reading all the articles, read books. A lot of my books I read were... It just it was either you it was, Yeah, it was either much. personal development books or political shit. Yeah. Just trying to do the knowledge and fucking mm-hmm. be aware of shit. Uh, and then over time, so for 2012, yeah, I was educated. Uh, if people wanted to debate me, I would not on Facebook, but face to face. I had statistics memorized, articles memorized, this and that, stories. Uh, again, it's really hard to um, debate, like, it's like music and politics and religion, like, no matter who you, who you, no matter who you argue with, like. You're not going to get your point across. Yeah, either. no doubt. I mean, that's that's the other thing, too. And I'll, I'll go in. I'll touch on that, too. But long story short, so for 2012, I was, like, all about it. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, that's the first year I ever fucking voted, man, as far as, uh, yeah, that's the first year I ever voted. And I voted Gary Johnson, you know what I mean? Because I, I tend to lean libertarian. Mm-hmm. Um, but then after that, man, it's just, I kind of looked in the mirror and it was, I ain't like, I would kept up with that shit so much. That it was depressing, bro. It yeah, made me yeah. like an angry person it is. and a depressed person in a, in a lot of ways uh, because I was just always angry because nobody else was seeing the shit that I mm-hmm. saw happening. Yeah. And it just kind of, it's discouraging. Like, yeah. man, nobody's fucking real. Nobody mm-hmm. knows what the fuck's <laughs> going on. You know what I mean? It's like, you feel like you're in this minority and you are. Uh, so that shit after a while, I was just like, nah, I stopped keeping up with shit. Yeah. I can still keep up with shit to a degree. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But not like I used to. And then, so now... You know, tr- you know, fast forward 2016, it's like, I don't, I wish I, you know, still remembered a lot of the statistics and things like that. Yeah. Uh, there's not a lot to go off with Trump, but with Hillary, for example, I just, I just feel like I remember reading a lot of negative things throughout the years, a lot of scandals. So that's kind of hard to like her and vote for her. Trump, obviously, he's Bunch an asshole. So, yeah. So it's like, you know, it's too much, uh, too much negative against both of them. Yeah. Uh, and I just... I just wasn't feeling Not the that, election in general at all this year. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're both crooks. So I didn't even vote. Uh, I know I posted a picture of a, a vote. I voted. It, it was a joke. <laughs> yeah, if and you I read saw it. them. Yeah, it's, I it's saw a, the year. It says 2012. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people <laughs> probably like believed it. Uh, and I feel bad when I make those jokes. Uh, when I try to sound serious, I'm, I'm yeah. 99% of the time I'm joking. Yeah. So if you're listening to this, you know, don't take any of that shit because most, yeah. most of my shit is jokes. <laughs> I, I say a lot of shit, but I, I try to make it sound serious on purpose because that shit's entertaining to me. Yeah. But as jokes, you know what I mean? But uh, I didn't vote. Fuck that. I just wasn't <laughs> feeling it this year, man. Mm-hmm. Was not feeling it. Uh, yeah. What did you say earlier? I said I was going to touch on it again. <laughs> uh, about, mm-hmm. fuck. I forgot what you said right now. But uh, about it being depressing and this and this and that. Man, anyways, if you remember. It being depressing about just. Keeping up with this shit. Yeah, just keeping up with it. It's like. But you said something. I said I was going to touch on it right now. Yeah, yeah, fucking if it comes to us, we'll remember, we'll uh, we'll bring it back. Yeah, but no, nah, man. Brain again, uh, you know, again, that's why I wasn't feeling it. And at the end of the day, not a lot of changes, man. Yeah, but I'll say this too, man. And this is just my opinion. If you honestly think these politicians, Trump or whoever, mm-hmm. give a fuck about you, they don't. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hillary does not give a flying fuck <laughs> about you. She doesn't care about women. She doesn't care about women's rights. No, of they changed not. their uh, their positions so much. A lot of them were anti gay marriage. Now they for it. Why? Mm-hmm. Because they give into the pressure. Not yeah. because they actually give a fuck. They're against this and that, and then they're for it. Then they're against it again. These and people do not give a fuck that, about you. Yeah, a lot of shit that they <laughs> promise, anyways, it's not going to happen anyway. Of so. course, of course. So I'm not going to try to insult anybody that follows whoever. Yeah. This is not what this show's about or what I'm about. I talk a yeah. lot of shit, but. If you fucking think that they give a fuck about you, fuck. Honestly, me. I don't know what to do. I got a, <laughs> I got, I got some, I got, some, <laughs> I got a bridge in Brooklyn. I, I want to <laughs> sell you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, as, as they say, but cool, man. Shit. Any other thoughts on the election? There's mm-hmm. some pretty, pretty mm-hmm. dank memes, as they say. Yeah. Been coming out. <laughs> that's, that's the, that's the real winners, right? The dankiest. There. The dankiest of memes. Yeah, man. The, the comedians are the real winners here because yeah. they got all kinds of material now. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to that shit. But I seriously, there's not going to be a wall. I seriously doubt there's going to be a, they're going to build a fucking wall. Nah, fuck you know what I predict as well? Trump supporters, like the really hardcore ones. Yeah. They're going to be really upset and disappointed because he's not going to do none of that nah, shit. Nah, <laughs> nah. He just said that just to sound crazy and get you guys going. Yeah, you, you know. So now that he won, he's like, oh shit, I actually won. I don't even think he believed he would win. <laughs> now he's like scared because he's probably thinking he's going to get assassinated and shit. Yeah, he's like uh, a his, dog who he, cut. Now he's going to have to do try to come through on some of these promises, but he's, it's not going to happen. Yeah. So supporters are going to be like, no, f- you promised us a wall, Trump. Yeah. And he's like, it ain't coming. Sorry. <laughs> ain't going to be no wall. All these fucking Muslims are and still here. Nobody's going to get fucking, uh, you know, moved out of the U.S. Yeah. No, I don't know. So we'll leave it at that. We'll move forward. Uh, you know, but if anything comes comes to mind, feel free to, or that shit that we forgot, yeah, we yeah. can bring it back all day. Awesome, man. So as you know, you you yourself told me you do listen to the show. Yep, I love the fucking show. I appreciate the love, man. I appreciate I was so, listening. Like, nervous on the way over here. I was like, yeah. oh, for real? <laughs> yeah, that's flattering to me, man. But nothing to be nervous about, man. You're with your family here, uh, and it's, it's yeah. all fun here, dog. Hell yeah, thank you, dude. I hell appreciate yeah, that. All day. So, as you know, we like to go into people's origin stories and backgrounds yeah, yeah. and whatnot. So, we're going to start with that, man. So, again, just tell the people, the listeners, kind of where you grew up, if you moved around any uh, at all. Again, maybe any kind of stories that pop into mind, how your relationship with your parents is, you know, school life, your adolescent life, you know, how you were, how people treated you, how you interacted with yeah. people throughout the years up until, you know, maybe the way. All of that story up until birth to the age of, you know, 18, 19, 20, doc. Cool. Go ahead and spit it. Well, <clears throat> my name's uh, Brian Avila. Um, the, all the homies call me foolish. Uh, Kill the bee. I was born in Canotillo. It's like mm. a little shitty town. Like oh, right shit. before you get to El Paso. Um, Canotillo High School, that's where I went. Can, well, Bill Childress Elementary. Ganotillo Middle School, Ganotillo High School, those are all the schools mm. I went to. All right. Pretty much like high school, like it was it was shitty. Um why is that? I don't know, like um I don't know. I mean school was pretty cool. Uh let's put these people on blast, dog. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, fuck I'm those just, people. They're I'm all just joking, man. they're all fat and like Oh shit. <laughs> have a bunch of kids now, so it's all good. <laughs> But, hey, what um, go, don't go don't skip a, don't <laughs> skip too far ahead man how was your childhood my childhood uh, it was good um how was your home life let's put it that way my home life well um well like my mom and my dad they got divorced uh they got divorced when i was about two so it was just me my mom and my brother from then on and my brother he was uh he was heavily into graffiti so i used to just see him like stay up late night you know watching jay leno on his on his black book all night long nice. and just filling up like hate. what's he go by? He goes by faces. Faces. Yeah, shout and, out to faces. Yeah, shout out to faces. Like, but he was he even down with any crews? Um, uh, KAC coming at you. That was like they were like the sickest shit back in the nineties. But all right, you know they uh they were they like well, you know Joey um uh, well that's my brother's name but. He uh, paints with Gibbs, you know, all of them. And yeah. Zyme. Right. Shout out to Gibbs. Zyme. Yeah, Zyme. Oh, yeah, those you are know. my people's, man. Yeah, that's all his, like, that's all his family, too, but. So he's still around here in El Paso? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he tattoos. Um, He's on his tattoo thing right now. Yeah, he's on his tattoo thing. Nice, right where at? Um, I think he just, uh, he was at F1 Studios, like, um, I think it's in the Northeast, but, um, uh, I don't know what happened over there. I think he got in a little squabble or something like that nice. with one of the customers. Oh, so, shit. Yeah, yeah. They Talk were about like, customer service. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's yeah. one of your big influences? Yeah, yeah. That's one of my big influences. And right. he, uh Yeah, like I said, he got in a little squabble. And uh, like, um, I always have that to, was that, huh? I always have to be careful, like, when people... Like when people say, "Are you faces, brother?" I'm like, so, oh. "That depends." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, "Oh my." Who are you? Who yeah, sent you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, in high Shit. school, there was a couple times where older fools wanted to fuck me up because I was his brother. So. Damn. 
<laughs> yeah, I always have to like. You're more. You're, you're not. A, you're not a big dude. No offense, yeah, yeah, but I mean, shit, yeah. so you gotta watch your bag extra hard. Yeah, it sucks because he's like the fighter and I'm the lover. Like, oh uh, shit. Like I'm. I'm cool with everybody. Like, and I always have to watch out. It, no it sucks, but I mean, it did. It did toughen me up, I guess. Like along gotta, the way, you gotta look at the positive side, huh? Yeah, yeah. And then, well, my mom, she's um, yeah, she's she's my everything. I love her so much. Like um. She's always, uh, she's always giving me a great childhood. Like, like we didn't live in, we didn't live in the best neighborhood or anything. In fact, it was like, it reminds me of Chaparral, you know. Oh yeah, Chaparral, yeah, New Mexico. I've been there. I've been there. Yeah, yeah. It's I had like a homie that lived out there. I used to go visit him uh, back when they didn't even. Have, I don't know how it is now, but it wasn't even paved, no, no, man. It's the same. They, they, they didn't the even same. have street signs. No, it's still it's, like that. It's the same. It's like. Oh, damn. If you went shit there, Chaparral. Yeah, if uh, you I'm went there, <laughs> no, <I'm> just... <laughs> <laughs> if you went there back in like the nineties, it's the same. It's I the was same back place. in the nineties. Yeah, That's yeah. how I used to go. My homie Ruben, shout there's, out to Ruben. There's maybe like a mm, Dollar General now, but nah, it's still coming up, <laughs> coming yeah, up. But um, yeah, nah, like we didn't live in the bro. best neighborhood, but I always had like the you know Nintendo sixty four. You know the night, you know nicest little, clothes little like. She, you know, if she didn't have enough money for whatever I wanted, like she called the light bill place and make sure like she could get an extension, you know, shout just out, shout out to layaway. Yeah. Yeah. Just so she can get me, you know, the little toy that I wanted or whatever. But yeah, yeah. but yeah, like it's so always that's been a, a, that's a good mom. Yeah. It's always been a great childhood. Like I love my childhood and um, yeah, I fucking miss it all the time. And then um. I have a stepdad. Well, he just passed away actually mm. about two months ago. So mm, rest in peace. He um yeah um Willie uh Willie Ramirez. He's like he he started dating my mom when I was about six, and uh, he showed me a lot of cool shit. Like yeah um, yeah a lot of cool stuff. And like what, uh, riding a bike and all that shit or what? <laughs> you know that's crazy. He did. He actually did um teach me how to ride a bike. And, nice, nice. Um. Yeah, shout out to him. I've shown but... mad ex girls kids how to ride bikes, man. They <laughs> yeah. still break up with me. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up, man. Yeah. Shit. But um, out here, I, I run into them. They're bigger now. They're riding ten speeds and shit. Mm -hmm. like, come on, son. <laughs> no, that was on me. That's all me. That's all me right there, son. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Uh, but yeah, it's true though, man. Shout out to my ex girlfriends. You know what I'm saying? I still love you. Take me back. All the way <laughs> For real. But um, <laughs> and yeah, my fucking. My shitty dad, he lives in Waters. I'm not too sure what that falls up to. Your biological dad? Yeah, yeah, my biological pops. All right. Um, yeah, I mean. How was so? How was it in? Uh, how was how was school life, man? Uh, elementary, junior high. I mean, were um, you the popular kid? Were you the quiet kid? Were you the artist or all of the above? Yeah. What What got me a little like, not so popular, but all the kids knew me and shit, and they were all cool with me. It's because um. Yeah, like little all the little cholitas would ask me, can you know, could you draw, draw on my binder oh, and shit? shit? You know, I so all day. I, you know, I got you know friends, little girlfriends from doing that shit, and then nice, nice. You know, I got a lot of friends from you know, pretty much my art. You know, growing up through high school, I mean through middle school and high school, like that was nice. That was a lot of my like ways that, that shine I, from that. yeah yeah a lot of ways i met people and shit so it was pretty cool hell yeah dog that's an awesome uh networking tool there yeah yep so same thing in high school yeah or? In middle school i would like draw and like the kids like they'd see me draw on my hand hmm. <laughs> and they'd see me like do some crazy fucking like you know some sick tattoos all on my sleeve and i'd charge them you know five dollars to do it Damn. during the whole period yeah, I get my on their arm. And shit. <laughs> yep, I do it on That's their dope, arm and by man. yeah, I do it on their arm and by like lunchtime. Get my little cheese tots uh, and bam. soda and all set. Soda. You know what I mean? Damn, son. But yeah, Some it was flaming good. hot Cheetos and yeah, shit. Yeah, it was cool. Hell yeah, man! I'm In jealous. High man. school, high school was all right. I mean, I mean, I didn't get I didn't get laid, so it wasn't that great <laughs> i got laid like once man yeah know? yeah so, like, you're not alone man <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah exactly like, that was by a fucking ag a miracle like the planet's aligned <laughs> like practically got raped if not for that shit if not for the girls being the that girl being so aggressive i would have been shot you know pit, had a fucking shutout a fucking zero for high school but you know, oh, yeah things picked up after graduation you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> 
we started getting we we're late bloomers. That's right. Yeah, but yeah, school was pretty sick. I mean, um, honestly, I didn't graduate because I fucking I would just draw all day and just ditch classes. Damn. Like, from the beginning of the class, I would beginning of school, I would go to first period, and then I would ditch and go to art class all day. And mm. luckily, Mr. Hendricks, shout out Mr. Hendricks at Canotillo High School, mm. he would let me just, you know, just draw all day. Mm. And I would sometimes teach the kids how to draw some shit. And, oh, shit, for You know, like. The teacher's assistant and shit. Yeah, yeah, it was tight. But, you know. It's always the art teachers that are coolest most yeah. of the time. And then I went to uh, El Paso Academy West, which is like for all the fuck ups and stuff. Holy shit. So like the fancy name is not like. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like a Oh shit, yeah. you went to the Academy West. <laughs> some like a pr- you did some cool shit there. Yeah. Nah, it's for the fuck ups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would all just wait till for 12 o'clock so we could all. I'm surprised I up. didn't go there. I did so much, but I don't know. I, I had a little bit of a hookup in the offices there. I ain't going to say mm-hmm. who or what. But you know, she always, <laughs> she put in the good word. But yeah. I don't know. It's actually a bad thing because then it kind of makes you want to do fuck up even more because you know you're not you're not you're not gonna get in trouble. But uh, yeah, that was that was me. So shit. Shout out <laughs> shout out to that anonymous person. But but yeah, El Paso Academy High. Like shout out that school. Any cool stories from that shit? Any fights or any crazy? Mo- I know you saw some crazy shit. Um, fuck. Um, a lot of fucking crazy kids there to be honest like wilding out in the classroom and shit yeah wilding out like they shut the fuck up a lot of drugs there like it's crazy there like you don't remember anything you can, anything come to mind of yeah, some wild like, shit actually it's like really hazy from that from that time like Damn, you're one of those <laughs> drug kids yeah that yeah mean, that's what that means <laughs> yeah sadly i was <laughs> shit nah i ain't sad man but you know that's just your path man yeah Oh yeah, all right. So that was the high school. You didn't graduate. Well, how far did you get? What uh, grade? Fuck, I got to twelve. I got to twelve, dude. But I did not oh, graduate. Oh man, you're right. Yeah. You were at the finish line, dog. Yeah, I fucked up. I don't oh, know what shit, happened. Man, shit. It sucks. But I mean, if you think it sucks for you, then I'll, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna let you think that it sucks but because like for I, me, I don't, I don't judge you by that. It you know sucks because I have this dream every week, dude. Like, I'm like, it's the end oh. of, it's the end of the day, and it's the end of the year too. It's like maybe May and like, I'm just, I know I'm not going to graduate and I don't know what that dream represents. You feel bad because like, you feel bad because you didn't graduate yeah, for your moms. Yeah, exactly. You that's, disappointed your moms or yeah, what? Yeah, exactly. So, but I think that story that's represents. That's the beauty of not having any parents like me, man. Mm-hmm. Like fuck everybody. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm disappointed shit. Yeah. Because both of my parents left my ass. So mm-hmm. fuck it. <laughs> so it's like, I, I graduated, but mm-hmm. I, ain't, I ain't walk with, I ain't go yeah. do the ceremony and shit. Because mm-hmm. I was like, I don't give a fuck about this shit. You didn't? Man. That's sucks. Nah, what, what the fuck for, man? I'm not, I don't like. Oh I don't, yeah, I know I don't like. Saying, I graduated yeah. though. But yeah. I don't like, I don't like awards and and, yeah. and being put on a pedestal over, over some dumb shit yeah or even for anything for that mm-hmm. matter but uh i just graduated just for just just to say i did and i knew i, I knew that would kind of affect maybe my my job hunting afterwards yeah so that's the only reason i but i graduated late too though i mean mm-hmm. i graduated it took me i was on the five-year program you know what yeah I'm saying? but uh just because I, I ditched a lot too <laughs> but uh you know i just like you know what i need to get this you get honestly drunk all day I sh- or what uh nah, man. Oh, honestly, do, I wasn't like, even I wasn't even wilding like that, man. Like, yeah, I, I the heavy partying came after that. Mm-hmm. Uh, really, I was just I just didn't like school, man. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I just didn't like school. I didn't like homework. And the thing I was doing was we take the bus to the mall, and I used to shoplift a lot. Yeah, that was my that was my thing, you know, shoplifting. Yeah. Uh, that was my drug. But I, I wasn't really drugging it up, or I wasn't even get all the I tapes smoked. and shit. Yeah, all the was tapes and, all and that. CDs and shit. Yeah, um, you know, uh, so. As far as maybe high school, I think I smoked weed maybe once or twice. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You know, twice maybe. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I wasn't. That wasn't. That wasn't me, man. That shit came like later on. Yeah, that's but, what um, fucked me up. Probably like yeah, a lot, a lot of my friends smoke. are like, yeah, I've been doing drugs since I was thirteen. I was like, oh shit, yeah. I was playing with my GI Joes and shit. Yeah, man. It, it sucks because it's like when people say I've been doing drugs since thirteen, it's kind of like saying your rap sheet. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you don't. It's like you're complaining about. Or trying to be cool over being a... Some people act like it's a thing to be proud of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to me, I'll be honest with you, because I don't, I'm just wired this way. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't like to judge on that level. Yeah. I'll judge certain things, but I don't like to judge on those things. 
I'm not proud of a lot of shit I've done, but I'm also yeah. not ashamed of it. Mm -hmm. If it's drugs and partying, I'm not proud or ashamed. Yeah, yeah. It's just a thing it's that just I did. Whatever, it's just yeah. a thing that happened. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm not going to shame you. I just yeah. posted, made a dumb joke about it right now that I got drug shamed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I put it on Facebook. Drug shame doesn't what? What do you mean? Uh, it was a joke, man. I, nobody really drug shamed me. Oh, okay. It's just like things that pop in my head. But it's it's things that are referring to past experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like something happened in the... I'll think I'll be just sitting there on my computer. I'll think of an old story that something happened. And mm -hmm. then I'll type it out on Facebook as if it just happened like right now. Yeah. So when I talk about drug, because I hear the word slut shaming thrown around a lot, yeah. which is a weird term uh, because you're, it, it's referring to judging girls who are, who are having a lot of sex, sex so to speak, <laughs> um, who are very sexually active yeah. and shaming them. Yeah. But you're using the, you're putting the word slut in there. So yeah, you're kind of, it's up. kind of like uh, an oxymoron or, or just self-defeating in a sense. Yeah. So, but drug shaming to me means like when people try to judge you, oh, I smoke weed. It's like, oh, well, I smoke fucking crack. It's yeah. like, oh, that's whack. And it's like, well, fuck you. What do you mean that's whack? Like, what the fuck are you doing with your life? That's yeah, so special. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's because you don't smoke crack. Uh -huh. I was like, I've done mad shit. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not saying I'm anything special because I'm not. Mm -hmm. But if you're out there, if somebody's out there looking down at somebody for using this, this, or that, and that's fucking whack yeah, to me, is. in my opinion, because that doesn't necessarily, that's not, that's not what makes the whole person, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I've done all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah. The only thing I would judge somebody on is if you're hurting somebody else. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're stealing, killing, mm -hmm. raping, murdering, all that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But anything else, shit. Stealing from actual people, though, not, not. Then there's that. Yeah. You know, you're, you're going to say corporations yeah, or what? Yeah. <laughs> No, Cause cause that's just because like, you were like, I was stealing back in the day. So yeah, yeah. Well, that's all, like, honestly, like, that's how I'm still struggling with that one because I, yeah. I don't give a fuck about the corporations, but at the same yeah. time, that's still not yours. You know what I'm saying? No, definitely. But it's whatever, man. You know, we're, we're human beings. We're yeah. multidimensional. So you're going to, you don't have to, not everything's black and white. Mm -hmm. You can struggle with a certain belief. Like, man, I feel like this. But at the same time, I can mm -hmm. see this side of it. Yeah. Even like with street art and yeah. tagging and shit. Mm -hmm. I love all that shit. But at the same time, you really are vandalizing fucking some people. fucking private yeah, yeah. property. So I struggle with that shit because I yeah, love definitely. that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was like, when I'd be down and out, I would like, me and my homeboys would go to Walmart and then I'd be in the front <laughs> and I'd ask the um, guy at the door, like, do you know where the dry ice is? And he'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, where is the dry ice? He was kind of like, he didn't know himself. And while we were like, Thinking about that shit, my other homie would walk out with a big old bucket of chicken and Holy shit. potato, oh, yeah. them? potato wedges and all that. Yeah, oh, because yeah. they would always they know where the dry yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. Exactly. I should use that shit. Yeah, hell yeah. Ah man, when they they actually did actually finally fucking pop me for the shoplifting. Fuck. You know what it was? Is I got cocky, man, and I broke my own rule, mm -hmm. uh, which is because I always have these rules in my life, but I always end up breaking them anyways. Um, Never fucking, never be out there stealing and shit if you're fucked up. Yeah. And, you know. I would, That's the best time to steal, really. Fuck no, dog. Because <laughs> I'm not as sharp. You know? Yeah, I like yeah. being sharp. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I like being mad sharp about everything I do. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, shit, at the same time, I'm a partier. You yeah. know what I mean? So, like, that's been the fucking <laughs> curse of my life. Yeah, temptation. But, yeah, so, like, you, you know, you're shoplifting. I've been shoplifting since I was six and shit. Damn. So, it's like. You get to the age of 17, you get cocky, yeah. you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So Especially like, 10 years of fucking yeah. shoplifting. You're Shop, a pro ten, at that. Yeah. Ten, 10 years of never getting caught. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it ain't a thing. It's like, nah, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. We drank some 40s, hit up the mall. Some 40s. We even had like a couple of little like fans with us, a couple of chicks who just fucking loved us in high school. Yeah. They just wanted to tag along. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm going to be Mr. Cool. <laughs> and, you know, just be show off and shit. Yeah. And... And there was like I was I was just putting shit in my fucking pants, man. Some CDs and shit. Oh, shit. And like people, there's customers looking right at me. I was, yeah, yeah. I was like purposely doing it, just like <laughs> tap the face. Like I wasn't even hiding. What's up? I wasn't food? even hiding anymore. Yeah. I was just I'm just gonna fucking steal. But Jack the shit and what? Yeah, yeah. One of those fucking customers <laughs> ran on me. Oh uh, <laughs> damn. It's not even in the store. Like I was already walking and going to hit up the other record shop. Some fool trying to be here on shit. Yeah, but the uh, you know the fucking customer was like, yeah, that's him. Mm -hmm. They they went and found me. Fuck, that's. Uh, I was gonna hit up the other spot because it, it wasn't over. You know what I'm saying? The session yeah. wasn't over, but that was because <laughs> I was the 40s had me like yeah, fuck, yeah. fuck the world. What I was gonna man? do what I had to do. 
Um, but yeah, that's how I got caught. But it was a good thing because yeah. that made me want to stop and just kind of like focus on just getting uh getting my shit together. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I remember when I was a kid, my mom was like, "If you ever get caught stealing, or if I ever catch you, you steal." I'm going to fucking have you apologize to the whole store. Oh, you know what I mean? So she that put was, that in me when I was a fear. kid. So I, I didn't steal till I was like, maybe like fucking five years ago, dude. Like yeah, when, I, when I wouldn't have any money and, you know, I was desperate. I would only steal food, really. Yeah. Like, I got you. I got you. I never really stole anything else. But she should she should have had something ready to tell you to, about the drugs, <laughs> man. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, this is crazy. Like my uncle, um, he's fucking, he was a crazy motherfucker. He has like, like AIDS now and everything. But, like he was, he was. Uh, I remember always watching him as a kid, like, fucking up, you know. And he was a crackhead and everything. Yeah. And I don't know, like, it sucks because a parent can teach you as much good things as possible, even if, you know, there's a lot of people with shitty parents that are drug addicts and. You know, they oh, become yeah. good people like you, you know what I mean? And Am I? Right? <laughs> yeah, you're all right, but, like, you're not, you know. I've you, adjusted you, well. You know, you got your shit, like, you got a fucking radio show, you know? But, um, yeah, it's like your parents could teach you as much good things as possible, and, you know, it's it's really up to the person, you know? It's like. No doubt. But, always, yeah, no doubt. Uh, parenting's a hard job, obviously. No, I, I, I can't. I would. Uh, I can't believe that shit. I don't know how. You never like, know what you're gonna get. That. <laughs> with kids, you never know what how they're gonna come out. Yeah, yeah. No matter how good of a parent you are, but I would err on that side. I would definitely try to be the best parent. Don't don't be yeah. like, well, it doesn't matter what I do. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know what's gonna come out. Nah, yeah. Try to be try to be yeah. the best parent you can be. Uh, you know, and and shout out to all the single moms out there, or the the few yeah. single dads out there. There's way, way way fewer single dads, but yeah. moms, man, mm-hmm. the ones that are actually not all of them, just the ones that are actually yeah, doing yeah. a good job. <laughs> <All> the <laughs> I know some single moms that are fucking trash, Shitty, <laughs> yeah, smoking weed in front of their kids and shit. I've seen all kinds. <laughs> I've seen all kinds of shit. I ain't even gonna say no in names, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but holla, yeah, but you know what I'm saying, but you know. Shit, I'm I'm still down to make up. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, sure. But but seriously, <laughs> uh, fuck man, well, those shit. are the fun moms. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So so, <laughs> so besides your um, besides your brother, man, can you talk about some of your other influences, man, in your personal life? Uh, influences, um, Gibbs. He's a real. He's a big influence on me. Shout like, out to Gibbs. That's the home. I remember seeing Gibbs like on MySpace when I was younger and just wrecking it like oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, like yeah. nobody's business because he I think Still I don't know I, he would like just travel different states and he would fucking kill it and he's a big inspiration I remember seeing an interview on YouTube I don't know what happened to it it was like chinky eyed LA and they interviewed um Gibbs and a couple other people, but that shit was so inspirational oh, yeah. back when I was gotta younger. make sure that motherfucker here you, you gotta hear this episode Gibbs when I've sent you the link. Yep. But Gibbs, he's a big influence. Um um who else? Uh, you know, um music is a big influence on me. Like right. I remember um you know the Mars Volta and at the mm. drive and they them coming out of El Paso and <clears throat> them just being a real inspiration. They had um and they have um they used to have a uh, like uh, t-shirts designed by like something called chocolate uh, Mexican chocolate I think that's what mm. their uh, um, like people who did their artwork was but that was a big inspiration on me um, so all their you know rock tees and flyers and all that if if you listen to Mars Volta you know what I'm talking about but yeah yeah all that shit and um, fuck like Basquiat um, Andy Warhol Saber from MSK, Norm from MSK. Um, I remember Saber. He came to Canotillo one time and he painted, um, you know, Lupitas Tamales. Yeah. Well, like right past Lupi- Lupitas Tamales, there's um Caceres, and he painted mm. the side of that place, and he just kicked knowledge to us and everything, and like. Where's that dude from? Uh, he's from MSK, but he's from. That city. Los Angeles. All right. He did like he was here the, in El Paso. 
while back. Yeah, or? yeah, he was in um, Canotillo, actually, where mm. I'm from, like, yeah, yeah. when I was still in high school, I think, yeah, when I was a freshman, so we got to see him, but <laughs> um, he did, like, the biggest piece um in the world. It's like, you could see it from space and shit. He did oh, in the L.A. River. I don't oh, know if you shit. ever saw that documentary, uh, Infamy. But maybe I've seen uh, I've seen several and I've forgotten all the names of them. And shit. Yeah, you've probably seen it before, but he's yeah. like he's the sickest fool in the world. But yeah, they're, those are my, my inspirations. Hell yeah, those and a lot ones. of people from El Paso, of course, like all the fools from Buya, um, Buya, IGK, all those dudes, like like yeah. all those dudes are sick. Hell yeah, dog. And uh, man, I looked at shout out movie. Voodoo. She's sick. Voodoo. From El Paso? Think, yeah, she just painted, um, she just said La Parada mm. this last month. All right, all right, all right. But yeah. So I've seen some of your artwork, man. How how would you describe your style, man? I'm sure maybe you got multiple styles, but how would, would you describe like, some of those? You know what I mean? Because it, it seems kind of wild, man. It's like a pop art meets like, um, what would you call it? Surreal? Like, all right. It's like if, um, you know who Pusshead is? Pusshead? Yeah. That does not ring a bell, no. He used to do, like, um, Metallica okay, covers. Okay. and I know that art, yeah. You've probably seen his art, definitely. Well, but I've seen the Metallica shit, for sure. The yellow <laughs> shit. It's like, I don't know. I get a lot of influence from Mike Giant, too. Like, mm. he was a big influence on me as a kid. Heard of Mike Giant. Um, it's kind of like, yeah, his style mixed with um, fucking Salvador Dali. Um... Who else? I don't know. Graffiti, a lot of graffiti and graffiti inspired too. Like, I just mix it all up, and that's pretty much how Boom. it goes. You got foolish. Yeah, style. yeah, that foolish stuff. Why foolish, man? What's up with that name? Um, actually, it's from a sub- sublime song. This is a sublime song called "A uh, Foolish Fool," and I don't know. That was just my fucking shit. And yeah, that's like my favorite band since I was like twelve years old. So, all right. foolish fool. That was my name on uh, MySpace, and then. I had um, some people I fuck with out in California. Um, I'm like their artist, and uh, it's called Sip Lean. Mm-hmm. And it's basically based um, based around like um, Houston music, you know, with all the coding and the lean. Uh, yeah, the lean. And what exactly is lean? Lean is a promethazine <laughs> <laughs> with codeine cough syrup, and you mix it with like your favorite, your favorite little beverage. and Damn. Sip it <laughs> and listen to some screwed and chopped and just chill. Yeah, just chill pretty much. It's pretty much like a little nightcap. It's nothing like go out and fucking go to the clubs and Shh, only time I had. Because I'll be drinking lean out in the concerts and I'll be fucking falling asleep on stage and shit. So Yeah, that's that's, that's, so that's, that's, shit. that's that. <laughs> I don't that's like nothing that makes me fall asleep. Fuck, yeah. I'm trying to stay awake for ten days. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's basically <laughs> it's basically for when you're staying up for ten days and yeah. then you want to go. Honestly, to sleep. that's the only time I think I, you know, what uh, tried promethazine, but it wasn't with no soft drink or nothing. Yeah, yeah. I just chugged it right out the bottle. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, and you I, fell I asleep. Had, had been up a couple <laughs> days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, let's see what's up with this shit. Yeah, well, like Pim- I need to go to sleep. Yeah, like Pimp C and like um ASAP. I, yeah, yeah, you gotta be careful. I wasn't with sipping that on shit. it. I chugged it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be careful with that shit. But uh, like ASAP, ASAP, um, yams and uh, Pimp C, like. I think what they were doing, they were staying up all night partying and shit, and then they came down with the syrup, and they had, like, sleep apnea, too, on top of that. So, mm. like, mixing all that shit. Yeah, fuck you just, up. just to be clear to the listeners, I'm yeah, not yeah. promoting this shit. Nah, fuck no. I'm like, just saying, I don't even sip. Yeah. yeah, I don't even sip anymore, to be honest. Like, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not saying, shit, that's what you want to do, do it, but I'm just saying I'm not promoting. Do it, do it, do it. Just do it if you want. No, I'm just fucking with nah, you. No, that's all good. Shit, I'm not against it either. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not promoting it or being against it. No, it's just That's delicious. my position on it. Yeah, but um, yeah, you I don't even do sip it, anymore. Do what works for you. I can't even sip because of the program, so I'm like, I, have to, I get a piss test every month, so. Oh, for real? Yeah, so basically I'm clean, like. Piss test because of what, probation or? Oh, no, because um, well, the, meth- the methadone. Oh, clinic. they won't sell it to you. Yeah, yeah, it's because um, on the methadone clinic, you have to go, um, and after three months of being clean, they give you take-home bottles, so you won't have to go yeah. every day, you know what I mean? So, um, 
every three months they'll give you a take home so bottle. You can buy a whole box of them. Yeah, yeah. So like, by the time like it's like the year's up, you'll have a whole week's worth, you know. So you won't have all to right, be going right. every month. But. Shit, man. Since we're on the topic, talk about that shit. How do, how did you? Uh, <coughs> well, you said you're. Uh, I know we chatted a little bit on on Facebook. You said you're a recovering addict. Yeah, yeah. How, um, how did you get into it? What are you addicted to? What's your major addiction? And how did you get into recovery and all and all that? Well, I started like um, fucking around with um, pills when I was like 15, and they were opiates, and it just snowballed from there. Like around the age 20, I'm 25 now, so at the age of 20, I started um, doing heroin, but I started smoking it, mm. and then um, yeah, like. I just started doing that for a couple of years and on and off, but because I didn't couldn't really find a steady person. Hmm. And once I found a steady connect, that's when it all fucking went downhill for like the past two years. It was just like the best of the best and it really like fucked me up. So I like lost like fucking 50 pounds in like Damn. three months, dude. It was horrible. Like I looked horrible and... Um, I, I'd always been like uh, south, um, um, couch surfing everywhere, you know, like mm. from place to place. And uh, <clears throat> as soon as I like visited my mom one time, she just like, she was just like stunned, you know what I mean, by how I looked. And um, she just wanted to get me help from then on. So I like, I tried my best on getting clean for like the past, like, I don't know, three months before the program, I was just, I went, I went full blown, did as much as I can do. And then um, I said, fuck it and went to the methadone program and got my shit together. And it's been going pretty good since, oh. since then. Now, like, Have you ever been to NA or anything like that? NA? What's Narcotics that? Anonymous. Um, It's like meetings and shit. Oh, yeah. I I'm surprised right. you didn't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> no, dude, I do not. I do it's like not. Al- it's the like alcohol synonymous, but yeah, yeah narcotics and yeah, meetings and shit. Like twelve step program. I don't go to any of those. I just like all I did was fucking just got into the the methadone program. Yeah, all I did was got into the program and just deleted a bunch of phone numbers that I shouldn't have. You know what I mean? Yep, and yep. That's pretty much how I did it. Like you've never considered the twelve step. Um. Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't think so. Well, I haven't been fucking around with heroin for, it's been like six months now. So all I do is do dabs and it's been going great. <laughs> but now. Yeah, in that case, don't, then don't because they're going to talk shit about your dabs. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to NA, man, uh, just as part of probation and shit. Yeah. And they, uh, they make you go to that shit. But yeah, it's zero. Can't do shit. Yeah. Although I read recently somewhere, well, kind of recently. You can't that, smoke weed? No, nah, fuck no. Oh, okay. Oh, you can, you can do whatever the fuck you want. They uh-huh. don't tell you what to do. It's just uh-huh. a program for support. But in the meeting, they're like, weed is included in, in all that shit. Yeah. But nobody tells you what to do. You just, uh-huh. You're just going there for support. It's free. It's just meetings. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just there for support. Because, mm-hmm. uh, again, the, the belief is that you can't do it alone. Yeah. You know, so that's what those meetings are there for. 100 oh, free a free service they have some rules there that you can't do while you're there but mm-hmm. that's about it just real basic shit but i read uh not that recently but about a year or two ago uh that back in the day that even the even the fucking the dude that started that or one of the dudes that started na yeah. and aa that even he saw nah. benefits to so that acid and shit uh-huh. because that that was different. Uh-huh. He admitted to it. They may not talk about that at the meetings. But yeah, yeah. But that one, he was like, nah, this is, this shit might even help you kick some shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's saying? crazy. Some fucking, like and, some and there's been, and, shit. Yeah, well, he was talking specifically acid, but yeah, a lot of those psychedelics. You've heard of that, right? Yeah, Ayahuasca? of course. Yeah, DMT related shit. Uh, and, and even recently there's been studies on micro dosing on acid and, and other psychedelics just to to cure addiction. And they like microdose you and you just go about your day or do they I don't know. I, mean, I can't <laughs> as far as I don't know how what the tests and the studies consist of. Yeah. 
but it consists of again just broadly speaking micro dosing yeah fucking lsd <laughs> so just tripping a little bit all yeah. the fucking time uh-huh. might keep you from wanting to shoot up <laughs> you know yeah yeah that's crazy so there's been studies on that shit but yeah like i said even the guy that started aa and na has admitted to it mm-hmm. even him as a as a dude that's saying don't do any of them yeah <laughs> but uh, in all honesty though i mean damn it'd be damn, pretty damn hard to get addicted to acid yeah. or even oh, yeah. shrooms like it no, definitely you, you can't can do that shit every day. <laughs> it's, it's just it's not gonna happen. Yeah. But uh cool, man. All right, so that's there's that story. Talk about Chalk the Block, man. When was that? This year? Um how did you get into that? What was that about? Was it a competition? Did well, you win? Did you lose? I lost, but <laughs> but how did you get how did you get into that shit? But um um Why did you want to get in that shit? Basically, um we had to like write an essay of what we had to paint, what we wanted to paint and uh, what what we wanted to chalk up and uh had to be like um I don't know I don't know how many word essay it was but Man, yeah it sounds got, like some high school shit yeah yeah I was like what the fuck? And shit. yeah I was like what the hell's going on yeah, here damn. but yeah luckily I got into it and um we had to um, chalk for about how um, many like four hours the first day and then seven hours the next day but it was fucking dreadful like. Well, it's a lot of hours, man. Yeah, yeah, and then everybody else had um little teams, you know what I mean? Whole like team, you did solo. Yeah, and I did solo. So did I, you know you could have a team? <laughs> um, I didn't. I didn't. Well, fuck a team though. Yeah, yeah. It's team for foolish. Real, was, yeah, Hashtag exactly. team foolish and what? Shout out to me, but um, no doubt. Yeah, it was like it was fucking it was dreadful, but yeah, I mean, I I I pulled in like a little crowd, like everybody was pretty stoked, but. Yeah, like uh, my homie Dino, he got into it and he won first. He, he, no he way. Should, yeah, Dino? Dino Ortega, he's part of uh, Visionaries. So that's I think like, I've seen him on Facebook. Yeah, that's like the crew, yeah. I, the crew I've been rolling with ever since I like... Visionaries? Yeah, yeah, ever since Shout I started. Shout out to Visionaries. Yeah, they're the sickest, like, you know, Paso, no doubt, in, in the fucking Southwest. But, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, ever since I started hanging out in El Paso, like Diego Robot and... Victor Soto versus um, who else? Um, yeah, pretty much the whole crew. They uh open with with open arms and shit. Like, oh, yeah. it's it's uh, it's awesome being kicking it. With, they put me on La Parada. Like, uh, I think Sweet. it was last month. Yeah. But yeah, it's been going great, dude. Like those dudes are sick. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So that's how you got into the chalk the block. Yeah, chalk the block. Um. Did you yeah. place at all or what? what no, happened? I didn't, dude. Why was, do you think? What happened? I don't know. Some politics like, or what? I, I think it was because they even said like when they announced one of them, they were like, she was she was no stranger to winning. And it was just oh, it shit. Was fucking, yeah. it was you sh- might as well just say he picked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so shitty, dude, what she did. It, it was all right, but I mean. No hate, right? They couldn't touch mine really, but. Fuck it. It's cool. I mean. Did you say you have <laughs> I know you got into the, the fashion design shit. Yeah, so yeah. You have, what's the name? Do you have a, like a name of your, uh, yeah, your company or anything like that? Yeah, it's called a Cemetery. All right, Cemetery. Yeah, yeah um, I've been working on it for about... What is it? Clothes? All kinds of clothes? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to start doing jackets. Um, I want to like start like sewing and all that shit. Like, yeah, I'm on some FUBU shit. Yeah, yeah, on some FUBU, on you, some you know data. The, you know the background of the FUBU shit? Uh-huh. Do, the, do the knowledge on that shit. From us by us, right? Or what is yeah, it? Yeah, for us by us, but like the story. And that motherfucker is the dude on Shark Tank, the black dude on Shark Tank. Have you ever seen Shark Tank? Is he one of the three dudes sitting down? He's the main, one of the, the only black guy on Oh, that really? Shit. That's, that's Fubu right Damn, there. that's crazy. I think, if I'm wrong, correct me. Or he but invested in Fubu. Nah, 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 nah. I think that's him. That's Pretty him. sure that's him. Oh, I think okay. I, cause I think I read something about that. Well, yeah, I'm trying but to He started honest. off, he was sewing shit. Yeah. If it's not him, correct me, guys. I, I thought I read that somewhere, uh-huh. but I'm pretty damn sure. But either way, the dude from Fubu, he was like sewing just Damn, for caps and shit. He had like, he would make like 10 or 20 of them because it was just him. Yeah. Sewing that shit. And he from would, him? But yeah. By him. Yeah. <laughs> and he would, they would sell, but then somebody picked them up. There's a whole story behind it. Oh, that's but I'm exactly, pretty sure that's him. Yeah, that's uh, exactly I'll what I'm look it up afterwards. Do. But yeah. um, cool, man. Yeah, they're, use that as some inspiration. Yeah, I'm trying. Read up on that guy. I'm trying to be the next guy on Shark Tank and shit. So there you go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted like, um, I get really like, um, I get really, uh, how would I say, like uncomfortable and uh, real self-conscious when I sell my art and shit. Like, 
I don't know why it's real horrible. Like it's uh, it's a little. Um, wow, if you don't think they're gonna like it or what? Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I like. I guess I spend too much time with the piece of art. Like, um, I'll be doing it for ten hours. Mm. Then I'll just be like, "Fuck, get it out of my sight." And then by those ten hours are up, I have to call that person and be like, "Hey, you want to pick it up?" They'll pick it up, and I'll be like, "They'll love it." You know what I mean? But I don't know why. I just have. I'm real self conscious about everything, but. Because you're a perfectionist. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, exactly. But, um, so, I, I like, I'm starting to just, um, like, uh, people just call me up for the clothes if they want something, you know what Boom. I mean? So, I'm trying to do it, like, as personal as possible, but, you know, hopefully I get on the ball with all this and it just snowballs and gets awesome, you know what I mean? But Shit, man, I'm trying to help you in any way I can, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean... You look awesome with that fucking hat. Oh yeah, boom! <laughs> Who, what's up with the savage shit? Who, oh, what's the, who's behind this one? The cap oh, that just, I'm wearing. It's just my people. Cousin. The homie just blessed me with a cap. It's dope as fuck. Yeah, my cousin. Um, he has a little clothing line. It's called Dope Sick, and uh, he just want to do a little collab real quick and see if he could, you know, make a little batch of clothes and nice, make nice. some cash off that. So. All right, all right, all right. I just right, want right, to throw right, you a little right. something. Oh yeah, I appreciate it, dog. Oh, yeah. And I remember you asking me about my t-shirt size, so I'm waiting for my t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck, we all sold nah, out. Just, I have. Nah, a, I'm just kidding, man. I really have a t-shirt right here for you. It's XL, but I don't I'll know. rock that shit. Hell all yeah! Day. All it's right, all well, this is yours right here. Let's do it. But yeah, dude. And that shit. All right, let's see. So, but yeah, fucking, I'm trying to get cemetery. Um, cemetery. Popping. Why cemetery though, man? That sounds kind of dark, man. Shit. It's well, right up your alley, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you notice my art, you know how dark, dark it is and how like I'm into all that shit. Like. So that's basically. But it, does it have? Does it have? Does it have it just you just like it because it sounded dark. Yeah, or yeah. Does it have anything yeah, to do yeah, with yeah, the nothing, dead or anything like that? Yeah, nothing too deep. Nothing uh, too crazy. You know, There's no deep. No yeah, deep explanation. Yeah, I don't want to disappoint anyone or anything. But. Shit. All right. All right. No, that's no disappointment, man. All right. So just for the listeners. Homie Foolish just gave me a dope ass t shirt. I'm taking checking it out right now. Opening it up. Put it in the dry, you can maybe shrink it a little. Alright, the same as the damn cap. Hell yeah. No, no, it's just, it's not that bad. Oh yeah. I fluctuate in weights. It'll probably fit me. <laughs> we got the we got the Thanksgiving coming up. It's gonna yeah, fit me in yeah. a couple weeks, dog. Well, it's it'll be snug by yeah, yeah, yeah. December. The beer belly will, will appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate the breathing room. You and foodies. Hell yeah. So what happened, hey, what happened with the, were you supposed to be part of the, or contribute to the, the MF Doom exhibit? Yeah, it was, but, um, what happened with that shit? I don't know what happened, like, I, um, I sent, um, that dude who runs DCC, I sent him, like, jam. a picture of it, yeah, Jam. Homie Jam, shout out to DCC. Yeah, oh, man, I don't know what, like, I don't know what he said, and it just, like, turned me off, like, I was just like, oh, never mind, so. I had a, I'd already had a buyer for it, so I was just like, fuck it. I just sold it nice. from then on, you know? Hell yeah. Nothing, nothing wrong with DCC, but I it was just know. like... Just a little... Know, uh, little miscommunication, little I miscommunication. guess. little miscommunication. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our sponsors, though. Hell yeah, dog. Um, now, oh, fuck DCC. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, so... Talk about, let's go back to the the recovery, man. Can you talk about some of the daily challenges, obstacles of uh, being in re- semi-recovery? Because the word recovery, I don't know, man. Again, I don't give a fuck. It's all semantics to me. But if you talk to NA, because NA is kind of like the fucking, the governing body of this shit mm-hmm. and, and, and the semantics. Uh, but you still do dab. But let's talk about staying away of the shit that you want to stay away from yeah and the some of the daily obstacles and, and things of that nature well to be honest i think about it like like a lot to, like i just think about using like probably probably every hour but i just i know how much of fucking grief and sadness it brings to my family and pretty much my life you know so I always think about that, and then if I ever have an urge to use something, or I have real bang, real bad anxiety at the same time. So mm-hmm. if I have that, I'll just call my mother and I'll just ask her like how her day is going and start a whole conversation. Yeah. And pretty much, my mom helps me a lot. Like as soon as she I hear her, system. yeah, as soon as I hear her voice, I'm just like, I'm just everything's really better. You know what I mean? But it's really like. It's really a daily obstacle, like you say. So absolutely. Um, to be honest, like how you say, I guess 
twelve step program is absolutely being on uh, nothing, right? Like yeah, as far as NA is no nothing else. <laughs> yeah, I I can't do that shit. Like I, I'll I need like I need weed or something. Like I just need weed. I love I love marijuana. Like that's my fucking baby. That's I my... would I would think of it as you kind of using that as uh, in a way as medication. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For I the anxiety get, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, if I smoke a lot, I'll I'll get real bad anxiety. It's like so. I'm not like a heavy stoner. I'll just smoke a little, and a little it'll some, help some. me throughout the day. Yeah, because being sober, it's just like it's just so dreadful. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it yeah, is. <laughs> it's like like uh, to be honest, like fuck being sober. Yeah, dog. like no matter how much you shake it, like people want to say being sober is good and all that, but fuck, it's because everybody's wired differently. Yeah, that, that's yeah. one thing for yeah. one. So when that's when I said earlier about drug shaming, it was I was joking and whatnot, yeah. telling a story, but at the same time, you know. When you have these people talking shit, even a lot of potheads talk shit, yeah. uh, but just people that are sober completely or just drink, quote mm-hmm. unquote, well, I just drink. Yeah. Uh, exactly. You, you yeah, can't, yeah. Everybody's, got a, every, everybody's got a different path. Yeah. And everybody's walking in different shoes. Yeah. So I don't, I don't judge anybody for nothing. And you can't judge. The only thing is, obviously, some things are illegal, so you got to watch your back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've told uh, many of people, just even my damn self, yeah, I don't give a fuck about laws, but it's just like they're still there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you gotta be careful and shit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, but yeah, man, no doubt. And uh, I ha- and I don't want any of the listeners to think I'm a little druggy or anything, but I'm like, I'm actually doing much better now these days. You know, like he gained them fifty pounds back. Yeah, yeah, I finally gained those fifty fucking you know pounds saying? back. <laughs> I'm I'm meaty. I'd- hey, but keep it real though, doc fucking what's up with that methadone does that, does that shit fuck you up or what the methadone um i see I, a lot. I asked my i asked my uncle one time let me have some of that methadone dog i heard that shit was good <laughs> and he was like nah nah i should have fuck you up and i was like all right if, i'm still down but i'm saying he ain't doing <laughs> but i'm just saying you know what i'm saying it, you're still getting high I, it's I, a legal drug no actually it's a drug though right um break it down Break it down for because we have listeners that know yeah, what's yeah. up. But we have a bunch of listeners that don't know what's up. I see. So lot, I invited you here to talk about art, yeah. but I also want to talk about this shit. You I know see what I mean? a lot of people at the methadone clinic, um, and they they still look like they're fucked up, but it's because they're actually going over what their dose they're should be. You many, know what I mean? Much. Yeah, and uh, and uh, I'm at um, I'm at uh, 80, 80 milligrams right now. And I know, like, it is powerful. Like, you can you can feel, like, so as you, soon as you take a sip, you'll feel, like, your body relieved. Do you know what I mean? So you feel something. Yeah, yeah, but it's not, like... But you're doing just enough to keep you yeah, keep yeah. the cravings of other shit Keep the down. cravings off, and I actually don't feel any type of euphoria. But if you did more, there'd be some euphoria. Yeah, if all I right. did another 80 milligrams, I'd be fucked up Man. all day. You know what I mean? Man, I need to talk to my uncle. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> the people who are fucked up on methadone, they're actually just trying to get fucked up. Like, yeah, of course. And those people, That's how they buy a whole box of that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and the people at the methadone clinic, like, I'm the youngest person there, really. It's a bunch of, like, 60 year olds that have been doing junk since the fucking 70s. You know what I mean? Of course. So it's like they're still, they still want to get fucked up in a way. So they're actually. Doing, but, but they keep an eye on those fools. Yeah, like they, yeah. they know when they know when you're getting fucked up. Yeah, yeah. As soon as like um you see they see somebody walk in like with that dope lean, they won't they won't dose them <laughs> at all. Not fucked up. Yeah, they're mad strict in that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. And they I've they don't they test us every every once of the month. So I don't know if these people are getting fucked up with after those tests. You know what I mean? But I there's mean, always there's always ways around yeah. shit. Yeah, exactly, but I don't know, man. Like the methadone, it really changed my life, to be honest, because I did it in the right way. You know? What yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. It helped you, but yeah, you I saw can the see the benefits of yeah, it. Yeah, I can see Are, how people. Is there a plan up. though to wean yourself off of that too, or are you just trying to stay on that? Um, what's the What's the long term goal on that shit, or even the mid term goal? Um, honestly, it's like I just I need a yeah, I need to wean myself off pretty soon, like. It's just a routine that I'm used to, you know what I mean? Yeah, and uh, that can be bad and good. Yeah, Depends. Addicts need a routine, but at the yeah, same time. Yeah. yeah, I mean. If it's a methadone and shit, that's yeah. still, is it an opiate? Um, No, it's not an opiate, but they say it's like 
it it actually blocks the opiate receptor. Mm, so right, right. if he did any shit on the methadone, I don't even think he'd get fucked up. But, all right, all right. Um, it's definitely not an opiate, but it's like based around that. But it's like um, what what is it? Um, it's basically like insulin for a diabetic. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Some people some people get off of it. Some people are on it the rest of their lives. Yeah, so, all right. So it's kind of like know. case to case. Yeah, I, I I really don't know when I'll get off of it, but I mean I I don't walk around all ducked out and fucked up like I used to. So. <laughs> As long as I'm That's not good, like brother. that, I'm happy and I'm, to hear that. Yeah, as long as I'm not like that, and I'm actually I have like money in my pocket, and I have people waiting for their art, and you know, like yeah, sure. I mean, it's, it's awesome. You know, it's I good mean? to see you're at least you know blessed with the that gift of art. Though, yeah, man. So and I'm, the, I'm jealous. It was so horrible when I was on it because I do a, a fucking badass piece, but people weren't even in the mood to buy stuff. But I'd be like, yo, I'll. I'll just give me 20 bucks for it for like you know what i mean piece that's probably yeah, worth yeah, hundreds of yeah, dollars exactly yeah and and they would they'd be like okay fuck like it. fuck <laughs> it yeah and they didn't know what i was going through you know what i mean Damn, but son. yeah so it was like fuck like i was missing on so much money but now i have like you know though, now i have money in you're, my pocket you got you have a gift it. that's gonna keep blessing and blessing all day yeah you don't want to take yeah, that shit for granted but at the same time it's there and it's fruitful you know what i'm saying so yeah and keep the, tapping into that shit and the art the money is really in a, the money's gonna fall into place man no it, yeah exactly but it starts with the art yeah, and with, without the art, I would have been even more fucked up. Like, I wouldn't, there would have been no way I made money, you know what I mean? Because it's therapeutic for yeah. you, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. Like, I'll do art and forget about all this shitty. It's like, a little escape. It, it, it's my, it, yeah, it's my relief now. Like, it's awesome. Hey, right, talk about, talk about your, I know in our, in our chats, you mentioned chats. this shit. Uh, talk about your connection to TDE, man. TDE. Um, what, tell, first, say what TDE means and shit. Well, top for dog the people that don't know. Top dog entertainment. That's you know Kendrick, Black Hippie, all them. That's their label. But um, who else is in that shit? <laughs> um, SZA, uh, Isaiah Rashad, and they have a new. They have like a new member. Called, I think his name's Lance Skywalker. All right. But um, my homeboy Charlie Millionaire. He actually um. Before like Kendrick even got big, he would um um he would like front I guess money to uh to um who was it? It was like the manager pretty much of Top Dog Entertainment before they got his name, okay. but yeah. All right. Well it wasn't Top Dog, it wasn't actually Top Dog, but all right, all right there's this um behind the, the scenes shit. Yeah, there's this dude named uh AMAC which is um uh, Schoolboy Q's DJ. He had a brother named G Mac. He's in jail right now, but uh, my homeboy Charlie used to front work to G Mac, and um, you know, like that's how they made money for Top Dog Entertainment, like the whole studio and everything. So they were all good friends back in the day, like even MySpace days, you know. Mm -hmm. So when Schoolboy and all of them would come into town, my homeboy would um, call them up and. Actually, I brought a bunch of bunch of lean one time and a bunch of like bud to the um, tour bus, and they were like, "All right, fuck it, come on in." And then I was like, "I have a homeboy named Charlie. He might know you guys." And they're like, "Fuck no, nobody knows us out here." And I was like, um, "I kind of told them how we might know them," and they were like, "What the fuck? It's Charlie?" And they were like, "Bring that nigga, in. bring that nigga on the bus." And we brought him in, and it was like family, you know what I mean? They were like, what the fuck? Nice, nice. Yeah, it was sick, so. Tour bus here or what? What do you mean? Or what do you mean, which tour bus? Like, when uh, the show here in El Paso? Yeah, when the Oxymoron came out in Schoolboy Q. Oh, that his last his show last over here? Album. Yeah, the yeah. first time he came out or when yeah. he came out with Joy? Uh, No, no, that was the first time they came out. and then so, The first time he came out was at Tricky Falls. Yeah, yeah. With that, Not with that, Joy. That was Isaiah with, Rashad. That's yeah, that when it, it was Isaiah happened? Rashad. That's right. when it happened. All right. And then after that, like Absol came, and then Absol, yep, and then yep. they, like I just called up the manager and told him the situation. So it's basically like it's like every time Sweet. they come in, like all love. I'll just take care of them. You know what I mean? Show them hospitality. Like, of course, of course, man. It's pretty sick. Like That's and what I've always it's done cool. Like out of town. Yeah, if I go to California and shit, like I call them up and. 
taken care yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Shout out to the TDE, man, yeah, all, yeah. all the MCs and everybody else putting it down. Kendrick, Schoolboy, Absol, all them. Motherfuckers. Who's your Who's your favorite in that in that camp, man? Absol, like, Absol's dope. That bro. feels so sick. Yeah, I missed them here, man, because I was in Dallas. And I, when I, while I was in Dallas, I was watching Joey Badass and Vince Staples and the whole fucking, pretty much most of the uh, Pro Era Pro Era camp Damn, that okay. show. Um, I missed the damn big crit show out there, but I saw oh, it because it was, it was, I was in Dallas for like a month <coughs> and a half out there, you know, visiting the ex. Uh, you know, she's <laughs> pampering me and shit. Yeah, and that was that was awesome. But <laughs> that was awesome. but I underestimated the big crit. I call, I waited last minute to go in. It's like, nah, it's sold out. I was like, man, for real? Oh, I know God. in El Paso, Big Crit, it would be like 500 people. Nah. Maybe if that. Oh. be a couple hundred. You go out to fucking Dallas, it was sold out, like 2,000. Yeah. Now when you know Big Crit saying? came to Neon Desert, I was I almost cried that most. I, I, I'm glad I got to see him there. But you I'm saw saying, it though, right? Yeah, yeah. But oh I'm saying if God. he would have come by himself, there yeah. wouldn't be no fucking 2,000. Oh, no, there would be Not like 20 200. people. It'd be like, you know, a couple hundred, maybe. maybe. No, nah, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> exactly, so... I was like, fuck, I'm going to see him out here. No, I, would have, I underestimated it because yeah. I knew the venue that he was going to be at. Yeah. I was like, that's like 2,000 people. Yeah. Because it was the same venue where I saw Joey at. It was the same whole Was month. it Sunshine? No, I'm talking oh, about okay, Dallas, Dallas, dog. Right. So I missed Absol because I was out there doing that. But I seen Absol in Albuquerque yeah. with Joey Badass and Damn, a bunch of other it. cats. But uh, you yeah. probably open for Joey? I think they were like co-headlining. It was like the smoking something tours. One of those dams. Uh, one, of y'all, one of y'all's pothead tours, <laughs> man. Fuck all that weed it shit. Was, it was probably the Smokers Club, right? That one. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, I went to that one out there. Me and the homegirl, D. Wasn't Big Crit part of that? Who? Big nah, Crit? fuck no. Not, not in Albuquerque, at least. Well, he was part of that like in another tour. Though. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Well, they've had a couple of different ones. But yeah, it was uh, Absol, Joey Badass. That's who I went to see, but bunch of other cats I don't even know were fucking opening up but apparently they're known uh oh no no what the fuck I think the underachievers were on that shit so I, that, that shit was there yeah uh, Joey Badass you know, was, we were trying to holler at him at the schoolboy show but they're a little bougie and shit their crew I mean, you know they're too cool <laughs> But I mean, they are too cool, you know. They're the sickest fool in hip hop. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, they're the sickest fool in hip hop, so I wouldn't. They are you know, pretty it's damn all cool. Good. Shit, uh, man. Yeah. Tell us about your. You gotta give me a. You gotta give me at least one or two crazy ass drug stories, dog. Drug, drug stories. Drug drug using stories. <laughs> this is at the at the end of the day, podcast is. It's all about crazy stories, man, and and jokes and shit. Damn, dude. Uh, fuck out. Fuck, you're putting me on the spot here, but uh, shit, I know, I know, I know you done some crazy shit, man. Well, shit, tell somebody else's story. Well, tell we, us something you seen. This fucking cat. Look at this cat, dog. Damn, you almost pushed that speaker over. God, we damn. got the cat. I have no idea what the fuck his name is. He's a stray cat. Been chilling at the studio for about a month and a half. Allie. Now Allie, he's uh, we are pushing speakers over and shit. Anyways, have you ever? Uh, I mean, this, this is all whatever, man. You, you don't have to answer. I'm just saying. Have you ever been? Have you ever been close to ODing and shit? Um. Yeah. Definitely. Uh. Yeah. One time I took um a bunch of Molly and I sipped a bunch of lean. I What's was a thinking, bunch. Uh, a bunch of, bunch of pills. I would say it wasn't actually Molly. It was the dragonflies. I don't know. Uh, people. Young kids be calling Molly. 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 So they're man. just <laughs> press pills. pills mother, yeah, man. they're just press pills. Molly's Molly. I used to like take like maybe four pills. And I right. fucking be fucked That's a good up. Amount. And, <laughs> That's a yeah, good I would. I would like all at once. No, no, I would take like two at like a time and then another two. You know what I mean? Right, I but, got you. I got you. But um, yeah, like I, I don't know um, if you know what California knockouts are, but it's like you hold your breath, like you do like ten deep breaths, and then on the last one you hold it, and then you. Like hyperventilate, but yeah, I, yeah, you I, knock like, yourself out. Yeah, I like fainted and I fucking passed out. And I remember my mom just knocking on the door, like she needed to use the computer that we all <laughs> use and shit. And I just woke up and like I had to like pretend that I was asleep and I was just drenched in sweat, you know. And yeah. she's like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And I was just like, "Oh my god, I'm rolling so... by yourself." Yeah, dog? yeah, I was like rolling yeah. in the fucking room with my mom using the re- the computer right next to me it was just horrible and it just fucking smelled Horn like was playing smell like cigarettes so it's fucking mark farina playing in the background <laughs> <laughs> but you you fucking kids nowadays man <laughs> motherfuckers be rolling like in public 
just by yourself. Yeah, not yeah. by yourself, but like just in public or whatever. I'm from like I'm not I'm not I don't know where I'm from, but I'm saying I used to do that shit back in the days, but I I fucking I just I didn't like it, man. Like the public shit. Mm-hmm. I just I went to a to a mode or a phase where I was like, nah, man, I'm, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna be like at home in my room with a chick. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. Saying? <laughs> That's rolling. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Definitely. Like now, you crazy kids nowadays, man. You you guys are just just in the open, just walking around. <laughs> I'm rolling. It's like what the fuck are you rolling, goddamn. <laughs> Because to me, rolling's like I'm, I'm, I'm at home with yeah, no, some I, girl. Yeah, I would roll in high school and shit. I would pop a pill right before oh, like no, no. first period, and I'd just be grinding my teeth like oh shit. They during lunch and shit with my little eyeballs rolling everywhere. Like I just looked horrible. It was horrible. <laughs> yeah, and again, and again, listeners, we're not advocating this shit. We're just telling stories. All right? Yeah, yeah. For you, drug shameless. Don't do drugs, kids. Just give them to me. (laughs) That's the name of the fucking episode. Drug drug shaming. (laughs) Don't be drug shaming, people. Shit, man. All right. Any? uh, Let me see. Shit, we 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 got some good time, man. Uh, We can we can go ahead and start slowly wrapping it up. Anything else you want to get off your chest, man? Um. Yeah. Just like I said, like um, I'm finally fucking doing good. So everybody, please don't think I'm a little. little fucked up kid but uh yeah like uh just be on the lookout for uh my cemetery it's gonna you know i'm like i'm really irresponsible but um i'm trying to get like uh, the manager as yeah yeah i'm trying to get the website going (laughs) i'm trying to get all that shit going pretty soon be on your ass sending your reminders and yeah yeah actually what i was thinking like we can just do little checkups on Jesus, Sweet Jesus Radio, to see if I'm okay and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some keep kids, keep 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 people posted. Yeah, shit. yeah, keep keep me posted and every month or so. Yeah, this will be like a little. Um, I'm gonna you know, have you in your co-host. Yeah, shit, yeah, right? thing to help me out and shit. Oh yeah, dog. But yeah, like and then um, you know, uh, you know, just support the fucking movement. You know, like you. Go to La Parada, all that shit. Like, oh yeah, shout out to be La on the Parada. lookout for those visionaries doing their shit all the time. Like, you know, just thank you for being, thank you for, you know, letting me be on the show. I really oh, yeah. appreciate this. Like, oh yeah, oh, yeah, I love Sweet Jesus Radio, all the co-hosts, all the guests you've had before. Appreciate like, it, dog. That Eileen, means a lot. shout out Eileen, shout out first, shout out to Eileen, shout out all of them. Like. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, I really man. appreciate you. Shit, well, I'll take this opportunity as we're wrapping up to thank you for coming out, man. Take Taking time out of your day. Mm-hmm. Again, no, uh, great you. stories, great background, everything, great content, man. Again, the listeners are going to Yeah, I'm real it. shy, so uh, sorry about that. But Nah, nah, I feel like you shared you some good shit, man. Again, it'll uh, it'll uh, give the listeners and I hate to use the word fans, but, you know, yeah. fans of your work, nah, fuck my that, work. fans. Boom. <laughs> They're going to fucking, you know, they... They're going to know a little bit more about you and hopefully they get more uh, and a better idea of where you're coming from when you when you drop all that dope ass work you're dropping. You know what I mean? Yeah, hell yeah. Um, and you I, could uh, find me like um, at coffee91, C O U G H E E 91 at Gmail. Um, and you could, you know, custom work, anything if you want. How about the, how about the social media, man? Talk about social media. Do you have a like page? El Paso is a very Facebook strong city, and just just give any kind of plugs to so, social media wise where they can find you. Um, on Instagram you can find me at foolishfool91. Um, Snapchat you could find like that's where I have all my fun shit. You could find me right. um negative outlook. That's on Snapchat, and then um kill a B on Facebook K I L A space B E space space B E yeah. Um, but uh, let me get a little sip of this water right here. But it's vodka in there, dog. It's fucking it's vodka, man. Nah, I'm but um, um, yeah, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Instagram. Any plans of having a like page on the Facebook? Like page? Oh, no, um, like a separate like page. Actually, Facebook. Like I, I did all that shit, but Facebook um deleted my like account and they asked me for a. What'd you do? For my, I don't know what I did. I don't know the feds out watching me and shit, but um, they asked me for like my ID, like send them a picture. That's because that's because you're trying to fucking do a personal page, like a like page, man. Yeah, yeah. You well, have a I, like page. I, I, I ain't not asking for shit. Like page. I had a like page from that Facebook, but then they deleted it, so I have oh, to I redo a like page. You know, I have that like page, but I can't 
Are you trying to give your real name out? It, Are you trying right? to give the government name out? Or yeah. What? Well, I can't like, I don't know. It's we, a, got, we got Instagram on that shit. Though. I have my Fuck cemetery it. page on Facebook, but I can't actually manage it. You know what I mean? Because it was. Get somebody else to manage it for your dog. Yeah, yeah. I'll I help you a, out with that. Yeah, I need to hire someone. you want to do, I got you. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you. Uh, all, all day, man. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of your work. Cool, man. Shit. All right. So that's the, the social media plugs. Uh, after that, shit. Any shout outs you want to give, man? Um, shout out my mama. Shout out, um, well, just shout out listeners. You know, thank you for listening. And shout out me. Shit. All day. <laughs> and shout out Sweet Jesus Radio. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'll give my shout outs. Again, thank you guys for listening. Anybody that sharing the page, sharing the posts, sharing the episodes, go ahead. This is like your final thoughts, your Jerry Springer final thoughts. Yeah, yeah, the final thoughts coming through, <laughs> man. Nah, but, you know, I'd like to thank all the listeners, man, at the end of the day, because, uh, you know, this ain't shit without them. But I do this for myself because it's fun, but at the same time, I do it for you guys, and I like to record all these okay. origin stories. And I also like to just network with people and just talk to cool-ass people. So, again, thank you for listening. You know, again, we're starting this YouTube page. We're trying to put out little highlight videos and any other content we can put on there. If you got any feedback or ideas, go ahead and comment. Do a thumbs up on the YouTube videos, uh, likes on the iTunes and the SoundCloud. So, again, find us on iTunes and SoundCloud for all y'all Apple heads and Mac heads, you know, uh, iTunes, iTunes uh, store. You can find us on that shit. Give us five stars if you like what you hear. Share it. Tell your friends about it. Again, we got, this, we got the... Thanks for being my first fucking interview, too. First we'll interview. Boom. You heard it here first for one, <laughs> for two. You got the seal of approval from Foolish. So if you fuck with Foolish, you fuck with CJ's radio. And we'll leave it at that, man. Any final words? Anything else, man, before we, we, before we say peace? Oh, thank you again, man. That's pretty thank much you, it. Thank you, brother. Hell yeah. Peace. Oh, yeah. Peace. Sweet Jesus. Radio.